Welcome to the new series of tutorials of Tag from Smart Devices. These tutorials will help you to make the most of our tags. In this video, we will walk you through the use of our accelerometer tag, the Axi5. This miniature device can record acceleration for months with a very small size and weight. In addition to the accelerometer, the Axi5 also includes a magnetometer which allows you to understand the spatial orientation of the animal. This figure shows the positive orientation of the three axes. You can find more details in the manual downloadable from our website. The Axi5 can be scheduled to work in certain time windows. For example, it's possible to set the device to record at 25 Hz during the day and to switch it off during the night. The schedule can save both memory and battery in order to prolong data recording. As with previous versions, it's possible to add a pressure and temperature sensor. The Axi5 can be deployed on a variety of species birds, reptiles, amphibians and mammals. The batteries can be single-use or rechargeable and can be paired with solar panels for extended battery life. To switch on the device, swipe the magnet close to the tag. It will blink at 1 Hz for 20 seconds. The LED has turned off and the device has started recording. If you swipe the magnet now, the LED will turn on for 1 second and then turn off again. This won't affect the device, which will remain on and will keep recording. To switch off the device, hold the magnet close to the unit until the LED turns off, then move it away very quickly. The switching off is signaled by a long blink followed by three fast ones. Now let's configure our device. First, make sure you have a Software X Manager installed. If not, go to our website technosmart.eu, go on Support, Download, and download the X Manager software and install it. Connect the device to the cable this way. Pay attention to the cable LED lights. They need to be on the same side as those on the tag. Select the COM port here. Swipe the magnet on the device until it starts to blink once per second and click Connect. Now you connect it to your Axi5. You can see the battery level here. A full battery is between 4.1 to 4.2 volts. Please be sure that the device is fully charged before use. If you wish, you can change the device name, save it by clicking on Set. To configure the Axi5, click here. You can program up to 5 different intervals per day, setting the limit for each window here. For each interval, you can set the device to record at a certain frequency or to be off. Then you can set the acceleration scale in Gs and the data resolution in bits. Higher frequencies are used for faster moving animals. In general, 10 to 25 Hz is enough to record acceleration of most medium to large sized animals. G values of 2 to 4 G are suitable for most cases, but a plunge diving seabird, for example, would require 8 or 16 G. The resolution ranges from 8 to 12 bits. In general, 8 bits is enough for most applications. Keep in mind that a higher resolution would fill the device memory faster. Afterwards, you can choose the recording frequency for the magnetometer, and if available, you can enable the temperature, depth, and ADC sensors, and choose their period. A summary of the configuration is printed here. You can save these settings to a file for future use. Then click Send the configuration to upload them to the device. Your Axi5 is now configured. Now click on Disconnect and your device is ready to use. To download data, launch X Manager and connect the device as shown before. Click on Download. The blue bar shows the download progress. Downloaded data will result in as many separate files as recording sessions over 30 seconds performed. The raw data will be in compressed ARD files, which need to be converted. Keep in mind that if your Axi5 comes with a pressure sensor, before converting it, you need to open the general settings and select what kind of sensor you have, whether air or depth. Then, click on Convert and choose the file. A window with several options pops up. The conversion settings are rather self-explanatory. These last two options are only relevant for devices other than the Axi5. This tag has an internal clock which synchronizes with the system time on your computer when it's first connected. If for whatever reason you need to, you can check this box to override the device time 
and set a custom start time here. Then choose whether you want your data in millibars or convert it to meters above sea level. For that, you'll need to set the air pressure value at sea level as a reference. If you're planning to upload your data on MoveBank, click here to automatically choose settings that are compatible with their requirements. Once you're ready, click on Done. The blue bar now shows the conversion progress. You will see the converted data in a CSV file in the same folder as the raw data. If you wish, you can change the data separator from the general settings. The default is a comma. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please get in touch.